Welcome to R&B's Kitchen. Nothing beats us. Boink! So today we're going to be doing three vegan banana recipes. Obviously vegan. Banana. Obviously banana. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350. To 350. We finished each other's sentences! <laughs> I'm trying to be involved. <clears throat> okay, no, go ahead then. Uh, <laughs> we preheat it to 350. And then you do all the other stuff. So sorry, First thing you want to do is either spray your tin that you're going to use for the banana bread with coconut oil spray or cooking spray. Or what we do is we just like rub it with butter. Um, you just give her a rub, rub down. Room loves a good rub down. <laughs> and then you just set it aside. So next, in a large bowl, you're gonna combine all your dry ingredients. So that's flour, baking soda and salt, and sugar. Yeah, later. But when you add it up. Oh, the ingredients, the order of them. Yeah, um, when you're making banana bread, you don't want your bananas to look like this. I'm about to call out. You don't want them to look green, and I don't wanna call anyone out. However, just add an arrow. <laughs> I went to the store the other day and I went to the section um, that a lot of markets have where you can buy like fruit that's about to go bad. So I got 99 cents bananas for, and I, and I got a bunch of them and they were perfectly brown for our perfect banana day. And way mushier than these guys. Um, but then Becky didn't bring them. She forgot them at home because she's... I was going grocery shopping and... I kind of out of my mind, you know, I'm trying to take care of a family out here. Not only how one needs me. Then what you want to do is you want to take three bananas. Oh, we need a separate bowl. A nice curve and um, you want to mash them. Get a good mash and you got to <laughs> use these suckers. Honestly, make sure you wash your hands before. People don't like when you don't wash your hands and then get all up in there. If you're making it for other people, you might even want gloves. <laughs> Can I put this in the microwave? I usually just guess for vanilla. Throw really? some in there. Yeah. It's kind of strong though. Also for salt, just kind of guess. One fourth sauce. cup of vanilla almond milk. Usually just eyeball. Probably more if, um, than if you don't want to eyeball it because both vanilla and apple cider vinegar are very Super strong. strong. <laughs> and I'm a strong woman, so the whole time you've been doing everything else, I've been working on this coconut oil. Baking powder. Notice. Oh. The other one was baking soda. Yeah, but you run a cooking show and you're. Mm. We're, we're fast forwarding through this part. <laughs> no, we'll pause. One banana this time. Why do you have a banana in a cup in the fridge already peeled, you ask? Well, the internet told me that if your sister messes up, and doesn't get ripe bananas and you put them in the fridge 
then they get ripe faster. How much is a funsy? I'm not a puppet. Great Good for question. our audience. <laughs> Great question. Is it a... No, so I would honestly, again, hands just, uh, You see this much? Just in. Just give a little funsies in there. to take with you or even if you're trying to make a protein shake it's very easy to add any flavor of protein because the ingredients themselves are a very neutral sort of base that easily uh, blah, 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 blah. in this smoothie we have almond milk anywhere from a cup to a cup and a half depending on how many bananas you put in for us we usually put in two bananas so we put in a cup of almond milk and then after adding those you can either add peanut butter or you can add cinnamon if you're allergic to nuts or just don't want it to be as fat saturated. And then you have protein powder, which we do not have with us right now. You can add that to the shake as well. Are you dying over there? Yeah, I'm trying not to cook.